Hello, 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 everybody. This is your girl, Mia, from Mia's Coins. Got your cat. Got your caddy chat number. What number are we on? Oh, my gosh. I don't remember. Nine, ten. I think it's caddy chat number 11. Caddy chat number 11. So, I've had an extremely busy week slash weekend last week. Um, Y'all know I went to Vegas. I was out there for four days from Saturday, last Saturday, to Wednesday. Got home Wednesday. Had to clean. Had to do laundry. Um, Thursday, I had to go see mom because I hadn't seen mom in a whole four or five days. So I had to go over there, help her out, do what she had to do. <coughs> she wanted to go shopping. She wanted to pick up some stuff for my niece. You saw that on that video. I got my niece a couple of shirts and a sweater. Because she got her a new job. An office job. So that was very cool. Um, and then. That was Thursday. Friday. Don't oh, hit the back of my truck please. Friday. What did I do Friday? Oh my gosh. Friday was just like a couple of days ago right? I don't remember what I did on Friday. Friday, I got ready to go to the concert. That's what I did. And that was like an all-day process. Because I got up. I had to wash this hair. Blow dry it. Roll it up. The only way to have curls in it is if I roll it when I first do it. Because my hair is so used to just being straight. The curls don't last at all. But at least I get there cute. And by the time I leave, my hair is like straight. <laughs> I should curl it with would uh spray but if i do that then my gray hair turns uh yellow like when you spray we use hairspray i use paul mitchell and when you use that hairspray and you flat iron it or you curl it with a hot iron it scorches the hair so and it turns the gray yellow so i don't do that because i don't like my hair to be yellow so i did that and y'all saw i did all the pomegranates I just stole like three more from my mom the other to yesterday um but i did i i call it shucking just like you shuck peas you shuck a pomegranate i don't know if you call it shucking or i peeled the pomegranate and I plucked all the seeds out and put them in a bowl and um that was a lot of fun but that took like half the day while i was sitting my hair set and we went to the concert it was so nice we didn't have to stand in the general line which was so awesome we didn't have to stand with a whole bunch of people um we had like roll call tickets from james's friend so we just went over there and our names were on our envelopes and i said oh i feel special my name is on said you ain't got no sense i said i know you ain't got to tell me i already know i'm already knowing this you ain't got to tell me and y'all know y'all know i'm crazy i ain't got no sense so went to the ice cube concert it was so much fun and then saturday we had already had scheduled to go to the the high desert music festival Oh my gosh. This one was outside. It was so freaking cold. Like by time the second group came on, James was ready to go. <laughs> it was like, I'm ready to go. I said, no, you brought me all the way out here to Atalanta. I want to see Confunction. And they were the last group. And he was like, I'm ready to go. It's cold. And I was like, well. I said, this is your friend's event. Can't we go upstairs into the green room? He was like, I don't know. I said, well, like VIP, we were down on the grass. Maybe I literally, I say like we were five feet away from the stage, 10 at the most, because it was, it, was it was like some space, a roll of tables, some space, and then another roll of tables. We were on the second roll of tables, but we were very close to the stage closer than we were to the ice
days and we were really close there too and then in the VIP you could actually stand up and go right in front of the stage and dance if you wanted to so it was it was really cool James don't dance so we didn't go up there and dance so I'm just letting you go you guys know that you could have done that but we didn't do that and um, when we got cold here freezing my butt off at this concert. This concert is outside. <sighs> James was like, I'm ready to go. And I was like, no, let's go see if we can go to the VIP room. And so we went up there and his friend's wife, Andrea, which I know, I know, I know Will and his wife. Um, I was like, Andrea, can we come in here? She was like, yes, you guys definitely can come in here. And I was like, thank you. She said, here, let me give you a wristband. I was like, thank you. I said, cause James was ready to go. And I was I want to see Convunction, and he was like not gonna stay down in the coldness, and so he was ready to go. She said, "No, nah, y'all can hang up in here with us." And I said, "Okay, great." And um, like. The Bromatics, that's the only name I can remember besides Confunction. But Lakeside, Lakeside was there, Bromatics. Um, and there was another band that was there. And I cannot remember the name of it. Um, but after, I, only ones we didn't get to see was Confunction up in the green room because we left before Confunction was done. James was just, he was over it. He was like, this is a five hour concert. I'm ready to go. I'm over this. Why is there no cars on the freeway behind me? That's weird. Oh, here they come. Um, and so, um, we left before Confunction was over, so we didn't get to see them up in the green room, but it was okay. We got to see the Bromatics was right there. That other group was right there, and then Confunction came in, and and they were right there. Oh, and they oh in the green room they had food in the green room, so they had food for the artists, and anybody in the green room could have food. And so they had fried chicken, they had garlic fries, they had macaroni salad, they had a, a nice kale salad with the pumpkin seeds in the um, dried cranberries, like the one I get from Costco, which was so good. I was like eating the salad, and. Um, they had apple pie and they had cookies. So it was really nice in the green room. I said we should have just came to the green room instead of going down to the VIP. Like I'm just happy to be at the concert. I don't have to be like right up in front of the people's face. <coughs> Excuse me. Not unless it was LL Cool J. Now if it was LL Cool J, then yeah, I want to be right there in front of the face and say it. Ah. But it's really here. Yeah. It was a good time. It was a good time. My voice is just like here and there. I need to go get me some more lozenges because we had, I had took a shower and then we went up there to Allen and we were sitting out there in a the cold. And I had on my boots, jacket, coat, and then I still said, James, can you go to the truck? I have a small blanket in the back of the truck. Please go get the truck. See, go see if they'll let you go out and go get my blanket and come back in. Which they did, and I was so happy because I wouldn't have been able to sit out there that long um, without my blanket because it was cold. It was cold in Atlanta. I think he said it was 51 degrees sitting outside. <clears throat> and that's just too cold for me. Too cold for me. So we just came on home after that. And yesterday, was Sunday so I had to go to church went to church with mom and then after church I took her to the grocery store and after that I came home and I made a kale a potato chicken kale soup oh my god that soup is so good I'm going home right now after I, I just finished with the post office, I'm going home right now and get me some soup and some cornbread because it's soup is so good. 
and I'm gonna do that before I do my live stream. The live stream will be today at two, which is October 31st. But you guys probably won't see this video until like oh next week. So you probably would like me. That was not even relevant because that was last week. But I'm sorry. <laughs> I make sure I post my caddy chats on the members only page, and then the week later I post it for everybody else. So the members will see that we're gonna have a live stream today hopefully at two o'clock and um i hope everything goes good with uh me streaming and my daughter being at work but i think it should so i'm on my way home i went to the post office this morning like i'm saying i've been busy non-stop every day so this morning i went to all right y'all so i just finished the paperwork for the post office it's only six weeks, which is all I need for the holiday. And uh, we should be good to go. The post office at, I left my house like 7.45. I got there about 8.15 and I said, let me go to Walmart, give me some gum or some, some something for my throat. So I went in there, I got some breath mints and some gum and um i went over to the post office to see what was going on and they made a mistake they made a mistake they had two groups there at one time there should have been just one group at a time so they had um the carriers there and the clerks there so they had to process all the carriers first and then they came out and got us clerks for the holiday clerk position so that was supposed to take me an hour, end up taking me, it's 11 o'clock. So I've been there since 9, 10, 11. So it took two hours instead of one hour. So we did the W-2 forms, we did the I-9 forms. So we did all the forms and it's a six week position. So I'm only gonna be working for six weeks and they'll let us know which which uh, start date we have they have two different start dates one is november 6th 5th and one is november 16th and then you only work six weeks i hope they call me for the november 5th one because we're supposed to go to las vegas for new year's <laughs> me and james in las vegas boy i tell you we don't know how to stay out of las vegas and i and he said we were not gonna go back to vegas until until next year but then he's like well, let's just go. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Because we're supposed to go to the football game. And something happened. Now we're not going to go to the football game. But we already had the room. Um, so he was like, let's just go. So we're, we're going to go for New Year's. So I'm kind of excited. I hope they call me for November 5th. Please, please, please call me for November 5th. I know I got a doctor's appointment. But I'll just have to cancel it. Or maybe I can call the doctor see if I can schedule my appointment tomorrow or wednesday so i can make sure i'm available on the fifth even if, if they do or don't call me yeah that's what i'll do i'll call the doctor and i think that's the gist of from the last caddy chat to now you guys seen all the videos i want to thank everybody from my youtube family who went over to my facebook family and um started following my mia's coins page on facebook thank you thank you thank you i'm up to uh, 273 if more of you can go over there and click on follow on mia's coins on facebook i would really really appreciate it um they do have me in the reels bonus program but i cannot i'm trying my best i'm not gonna say i cannot i'm trying my best to get to a hundred thousand views and once you get to 100,000 views, you can be monetized on your reels on Facebook. But I'm only at like 30,000 views right now. The videos that I'm making, they're not going like viral. They're just, they're just home videos, you know. They're just me doing stuff at home. So hopefully one day I'll catch that one video that'll go viral. <laughs> and then folks will say, hey, she's funny or she's crazy. But until then thank you thank you all for being a part of the mia's coins family i really appreciate you 
Thank you, Mr. Dez. Mr. Dez going to open up the gate for me. Y'all know Mr. Dez is crazy. I'll show y'all a video of Mr. Dez the other day. If you watched my whole video, you would have seen Mr. Dez. Thank you, Mr. Dez. Right, I'm home, sweet home. Go in here, give me some soup, and then go set up for the live stream for tonight, y'all. So this is me's coin. Sorry, I don't have any music today, but I love y'all. <laughs>